Okay, in our last lesson we started doing the looping letters and we're only going to review looping letters from here on out. And we'll come back to the counterclockwise um, oval letters later for more practice so we don't forget them. But remember, you can go back over the videos, you can practice them all you want. Okay, so lowercase e is what we did last time. So let's practice three of those. Start at your baseline, loop to your midline, come down and touch, and back up to your midline and do another one. Remember, you want them to lean a little bit. I'm having a little trouble leaning mine because of the angle I'm writing from because of the camera. But there you go. I think I like this one the best. I'll give him a smiley face. Okay, the next letter we're going to learn is L because it's easy to follow um, L with, to follow E with L because it's the exact same stroke, it's just taller. So it's easy. So we'll do that one, we'll get the easy things out of the way and then we'll work our way up to more difficult. Okay, so we're going to start at our baseline and we're going to come up and loop all the way to the headline come down, don't cross over till you pass your midline, touch your baseline, come up to your midline. So it looks exactly like the E, only taller. So start at your baseline, loop up to your headline, come down past your midline, back up to your midline again. Let's do it again. I'm going to try and make mine a little bit more slender. There we go. And one more. So I make five. And I have to pick my favorite. Hmm. Which one is my favorite? I think I like the last one that I made. That's why practice is good. Usually you get better at it. So there's lowercase l. Keep practicing. Keep picking your favorites. Figure out what you like, don't like about them. And always try to improve your cursive every time you practice.